Hello, welcome back to the CFW podcast. Hi. Hi. Yeah, Kate's with me today. Episode 38, we're talking nutrition. Nutrition. Yeah. We've been, I've been wanting for so long to get Kate to come on and talk about nutrition. And we, we have a little bit before, and I that was, was like our first episode. And I was giving one... One word answers. Yeah, it was so <laughs> short and yep. uh, nope. yeah, yeah. <laughs> However, we've improved and well, let's hope so. Um, hopefully, you're nice and warm for it. So, what is nutrition? Is the question of the day. What is nutrition? Well, nutrition is the nutrients in your food. And nutrients in your food, uh, um, we're talking like macronutrients, macronutrients, macro. micro, micronutrients. Uh, what 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 are for people that. Yeah, there. We're going we're to explain these things a little bit. So what, what is a, a macronutrient? Macronutrients. There's three main macronutrients. Yeah. Uh, protein, carbs, and fats. Okay. So well. they're the three things your body work off. Okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a little... Main thing. Let's, let's do a timer and we're going to time each section. Sure. Yeah. Let's, let's do that so we don't go over time with this because we want to keep it short and sharp and on topic. Yeah. All right. Ready? Go. All right. So macronutrient, protein, carbs, fats. What are proteins? Proteins? Yeah. Is the... Um, oh! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's all right. Just go with it. Um, your meats. Okay. Yep. Yep. So like protein so is like a building block for building your body, right? Yeah. So what do we got? Meats, eggs, legumes, eggs. beans, stuff like that. Yep. Um, Even spinach has got protein. Spirit. Yeah, it's, it's weird. Yeah. Some vegetables have it's a lot more protein. Some vegetables have a lot more protein, protein in them than anything else. It's crazy. Yeah. Yep. So that's a pro- that's sort of proteins, and proteins are for you to help repair, repair, restore. Um, okay. Your and grow. 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 Yeah. Grow muscles. Yeah. Okay. Or any cells, any any sort of cells, right? Yeah. 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 Um, but very important for muscle. Um, carbohydrates. What's, what's, what are carbohydrates? Carbohydrates where you're going to get your fuel from for your body. Oh. Yeah. Your so body likes to take the energy from your carbs first. Right. Yeah. So there's, so there's no, um, no, if, if I'm on a, a no carb diet, does that mean I uh, just not eating what are you not breads eating? and pastas? <laughs> okay. Uh, carbs to me yep. is vegetables and fruit. There's still carbs in other things as well, like your fats. Yep. And nuts and seeds. And okay. But we should be prioritizing the whole food first. Right. And a whole a whole food. That's not the store in the states. No. Well, it is, but well, it's not. It's just your fresh fruit, fruit and veg. Okay. So fruit, yeah. fruits, vegetables, fruits, yeah. fruits and vegetables. Fruits and vegetables. Mm. Yeah. Um, so fruits and vegetables. Oh, far out. I need drink order. Yeah. Um, fruits, fruits and vegetables are your whole foods. So there are. I don't even know where I put my water. Anyway, it's gone. Gone. I just have Water's to. Water's important. Mm, I'm <laughs> parched. So yeah. So f- your your fruits and vegetables are sources of carbohydrates, but also things. There's like the, the no, not bad carbs, but the the higher glycemic yeah. carbs. Carbs. Like there's like oats and pastas oats. and bread and stuff. Pastas. Wheat. Yeah. Yeah. The stuff that we usually try and stay away from. Yeah. So they're the carbohydrates. They're all carbohydrates. Yeah. There's, there's some that's more processed than okay. others as right. well. Yeah. So. But we're going to try and stick to the whole ones. Yeah. yeah. Whole ones. Good foods. So 80%, I say. Yeah. Okay. 80% yeah. of your 100%, 80% should be whole foods. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. And fats. What are fats? Fats, nuts and seeds. Nuts and seeds. What, are, what else is sort of fat like? Oh, avocado. Avocado. And egg, then there's, there's egg some yolk. and egg, egg yolks, yeah. Egg yolk, yeah. Uh, then you get stuff like like animal fats. As, oh, uh, yeah, animal, sort of yeah. There's still going to be fats in other, but your majority okay. ones. Uh, so so yeah. all, all f- oh, just to clarify this, for all, f- all foods have a mixture of different macronutrients usually. Yeah. They have a couple, not just well, if you look one at, thing. Well, if you look at a piece, 100 grams of chicken, it's 22 grams of protein yeah. and 2 grams of fat, but it's got no carbs. Yeah. Okay, so that's like, so yeah, two grams of fat with 22 grams of protein for 100 grams of chicken. Okay. But then you look at something like an apple, which is mostly carbohydrates, carbohydrates. Yeah. which will have no fat, but it will have a little bit of protein as well. I think so. A little bit. 
Don't know that one off the top of my head. Yeah, not exact things, but it does have a little bit of protein in it. Or, or, you, or you we're looking at uh, stuff like honey is pretty is pure carbs. Yes, yeah, pretty much one gram of honey is one carb. Yeah, it's pretty cool, though. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, so they're protein, carbs, fats, micronutrients. Micronutrients like your iron or fiber. Iron fiber. So fiber. This is this is a cool one. What is what does what does fiber do in your body? Well, it helps you run. It's kind of like the oil in the motor. Okay, so, so it helps just you makes it smoother. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it'll make sure. Look, if you get enough fiber, you're most likely getting enough micronutrients. Right. Yeah. Because which will make the system run better. And and the funny thing with fiber is you usually find it in those whole foods. Yes. Usually. And if you're taking a tablet, it's cheating. That's, yeah, it is cheating. You know, because if you're eating the whole foods, then you're getting all the fiber and all the other micronutrients yeah. that come with that. Yeah. That help everything run smoothly. But it also helps your digestion and things like that, like gut Absolutely. health sort of stuff. Yeah. 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 And um, so fiber is found in your whole foods. Yes. Mostly. Well. It, yeah. it can be found in other stuff as well. But it can not, be. Not, not great. Not great. Yeah. Get it from there. But if, if you're tracking your food and your fiber's quite high, like, and w- w- we're talking high fi- like high fiber in your diet. Well, there's two different fibers as well. Okay. So, I mean, when, in my fitness pal, when, I, when I'm going, I've got a goal to get 40, but usually I'm at like 55. Mm. That's high fiber. Yeah. Yes. It's high, fi- high, high good fiber. But yeah. But then when <laughs> you look at someone else and they're like, oh, you know, I'm getting like 20 fiber and they think that's high. It's not high. Oh, so you're obviously not eating good foods. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Because 80% of the stuff you eat is whole food. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Well, that's those. Easy. All right. Reset the clock. Um, oh, we already talked a little bit about other stuff. But mm. well, we can be quick then. Um, why do... What do these things do? Well, the, the fuel for your body, the growth, the repair, and helps the body work efficiently. Right. So carbohydrates... Uh, usually the fuel, pr- uh, an efficient yeah. fuel for your body. Yeah. So it's not, yeah. Your body will grab carbohydrates as energy first before it grabs from anything yeah. else. So if you're, um, so if you eat enough carbohydrates, then it'll, it'll grab those first to use as energy and not grab anything else. Right. So that's why we want to keep the fat to only support um, like minimal body fat. Right. That's Eat enough fat to only support. So, so the interesting thing at the moment is everyone's talking about the keto diet. Yeah. But the keto diet, it, it, still, it still uses like blood. Does it use blood glucose as energy? Because that's what carbohydrates get turned into to put in the bloodstream mm-hmm. to make They're everything work. ketogenesis with keto. Yeah. So... It, it it's a weird one because it doesn't your body still changes it to make it work as an efficient fuel. Yeah. It's not like it's not like when you eat a grape that that goes directly into your bloodstream. You have to digest it and then your body takes it away and then sends it out into your body. It's not like it's a direct transfer of the sugar. It's it's it, your body absorbs it and then allocates it. Yeah. It's not yep. a straight thing. The only thing I'm not too sure of is with all that animal fat that goes into keto, like the studies on that with okay. later down the track. Right. It's the only one I'm not too sure. Ah, so they don't even know how it is long term for your body. Nah, yeah. Okay. Because we, we all know what happens if you eat too much body, uh, animal fat. What happens? You store fat and then you get high cholesterol right. and have heart attacks. <laughs> ah, so you, if you eat too much, well, fat is, that, fat is a very dense nutrient. Yeah. So if you're on that sort of diet, you can uh, easily overeat your calories as well. Yeah. yeah. Right. So then your body will just store the excess calories as yeah. fat because that's the only, it's a weird thing, like st- fat storage, because fat doesn't necessarily equal fat on your body. No. Right. Because it's different, two different things. But your body stores fat. And it's the only thing, it's the only, like, bodily's only function that stores stuff. 
like you can't store sleep. You can't <laughs> catch up on. Can store you, sleep. you can't catch up on sleep, but your body is horribly efficient at storing excess nutrients mm. and as fat. Yeah, well, that's because the food is actually fuel, so it should pass through, just yeah. like petrol runs right. through the car. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, so fuel fuel for the body. Um, protein is the fuel is the well, it's kind of like the fuel for growth. Yeah. So all cells replicate with protein, but then it also needs the carb or carbs for energy yeah. to do their job. Yeah. And uh, repair as well. So growth and repair, same sort of thing. Like yeah. You could go down a rabbit hole on that one, but uh, I was just like thinking about it. I was like, yeah. Don't go down. The growth. Not yet. Next growth one. repair. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then efficient bodily function, so like fiber, uh, micronutrients Make like sure it's um, smoothly. like sodium and stuff like that, um, iron, magnesium, magnesium, all that stuff um, yeah. is for proper bodily function. Yeah. Cool. Um, and last one, last topic for this one, why better quality food? Well, why would you put shit fuel in your car? Uh, well, some people do it because it's cheaper. Mm. They put E10 fuel in the car because it costs a dollar fifteen rather than a dollar twenty five. Yeah. So what? It would it be like? Would it be like putting just a shit fuel in your car, or would it be dirty fuel? In your car? With like dirty fuel, like watery fuel. Yeah. Mm. Cause, I mean, I I find I see people like they're trying to get more flexible or they're stretching, um, and they're like, oh man, my knees just always play up, my elbows play up. But then when they go to eat better quality food, all they of a sudden the pain, they, they move better and the pain starts to go away. It's not because they're losing a lot of fat. It's because their body just is working better with better yeah. fuels. Mm. It's like it, it junks up the system and things just don't work properly. Yeah. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a really strange thing. I don't get the science behind it personally. Mm. but Well, it's like fuel and oil. You have the right mix to go in your car or your mower. And it runs smoothly. Yeah. That's yeah. like two stroke. Yeah. So if you get the mix wrong between the protein, carbs and the fats, your body's going to stiffen up right. or uh, store fat or you'll have lack of energy or you'll be moody or I'm tired. tired. Yeah. I said lack of energy. But yeah. Yeah. Well, I know, so your, I know your brain, your brain uses most of your carbohydrates you too. You might be able to Yeah. 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 I know your brain uses most of your carbohydrates because, I mean... It sucks the nutrients out before anything else gets it because it wants to function properly. And that's why they say, like, if you're not eating enough or regularly enough to feed your brain, your brain's going to be like you're drunk. Yeah. So, like, a bad nutrients is actually bad. Yeah. Well, you just have highs and lows as well. Like, you get that artificial sugar rush. Right. And then you come crashing down. And then that that can affect your creativity and your productiveness. As well. Yeah. Okay. So, I mean, in a roundabout way, everything that we're saying is saying eat more go, whole foods. Go back to basics. Back Just to basics. Just eat food. Yeah. Eat good Actual food. food. Eat not real food, food like not too substan- much. Not food like substance. Not food like, like substance. substances. <laughs> okay. So, you want to eat meats and veg, nuts and nuts seeds, seeds, some fruit that will starch, no sugar. Yeah. Keep intake that that maintains exercise, not body fat. Correct. It's an interesting one. So, tr- like, b- uh, finishing up on that topic. Um, so, like, why better quality? But how do you, how do you track that? How do you track your food? Like, if you didn't have my fitness pal, how would you track your food? You could just write it down or write, make a plan. Okay. And what I think. Feel each meal with. Whole foods first. Okay. So if you're, if you're eating, if you're writing it down, you're becoming aware of it. Yeah. The more aware of it you are, then... And you're writing every single thing down. Maybe not weighing it, let's say. You're just writing it all down. Yeah. And you're feeling sluggish. What would you do? All the time. Oh, there's a lot of things that can go into okay. it. Okay. All right. So if you're eating just like vegetables... You have to eat a lot of vegetables. Well, it depends on the individual. Individual or the individual <laughs> vegetable? Well, dep- well, it depends. And it depends on what type of time of day it is, what you've, how you've started your day. Right. 
Yeah. So, I mean, you should get like, asked for help. You, yeah. So someone can figure it out for you. Yeah. But, I mean, for people that, you know, can't afford it or whatever, if you write it down... If you're fi- feeling sluggish by lunchtime, then your breakfast isn't big enough. Okay. Right. If you're... Every, well, you got the every, wrong breakfast. You're, maybe you're not having enough fuel at the start of your day. Mm, maybe you're having crappy food at the start of the day. Yeah. A lot of people don't realise what good food actually is. Yeah. That's the, that's the tricky problem. Well, protein's also going to help you feel fuller for longer as well. So, okay. make, you know, a well, starting your day with a well-balanced meal is going to help you get through to lunchtime. Yeah. And if you get to that 2, 3 o'clock and you're feeling peckish, it's normal. <laughs> Everybody right. does it. Yeah. So, be prepared for it. Have yep. something there to grab. Yeah. Well, that's the biggest one. I just want to say that very last thing is preparation is the key. If you're not prepared, if you don't have food that's ready and you don't know what you're eating, it's easy to make bad decisions. Because your brain fatigues. Because your brain fatigues and it's like, I want some fuel. And then your brain uh, unconsciously, because it's a very primal thing, will go, what do I know that has a lot of fuel for me? Yeah. And they're going to go, it's chocolate or it's lollies or it's... The quick fix. The quick fix because your brain can't think properly at that stage. No. You have the quick fix and then your brain's like, I got fuel. Now you should have eaten this. And you're like, man, what the hell was I doing? Why did I eat this? I feel really guilty about it. Yeah. Your brain's tricking you, but you have to be prepared or go, I'm feeling, you know, I haven't eaten. My, you know, I'm really hungry. I'm craving a burger. I know I just need to eat whatever. Probably because you're lacking in carbs. Yeah. <laughs> so you need to go eat those that better food and you will still feel better. Yeah. And then you won't feel guilty. That's so. correct. And then you feel better. Yeah. Okay. So we'll finish it up. Big point. Track your food. Be mindful of your food. Be mindful of your food. Start your day well balanced. Start your day well balanced. Eat more whole food. Eat whole. more real food. Whole foods. Real Back foods. Back to basics. Yeah. Back to basic stuff. And... Um, Remember, food is a fuel for your body. Correct. Okay. Cool. Good start. Hope you learned something from that, guys. Um, that uh, head over to we're on Spotify, iTunes, YouTube. Subscribe, all of the above, please. Um, and yeah, give us a rating, and we will bring you some really cool more information next time. Bye. Bye.